Let's start with the basics. These are Sturman's potential spawns according to Map Genie. He will always have two guards. I recommend you use any bullet of your choice that has at least 62 flesh damage because Sturman has 62 HP on his head. And you want that one tap if you see him sitting around. What I mostly used was the M80 with an RFB or the SVD with its PS rounds. One way to get Sturman is to snipe him from afar. But I found this way inefficient. When you're sniping him from afar, you're waiting on a single angle and hoping to get lucky that he walks into your field of view. The problem is, sometimes Sturman will be sitting behind cover or in a corner that is not visible to certain sniper angles. So you'll find yourself sitting in a sniper angle just praying he walks across the open field only to find out he isn't even in your raid. Let's get into the most efficient way I found to hunt Sturman. The first and most important step is to spot him or find out if he's in your raid. I'm gonna break down two main ways I hunted Sturman and to start we are gonna cut this map in half and I'm gonna show you guys the east approach and the west approach. So that's Sawmill right there in front of me. We are on the eastern side of Sawmill behind me is Sniper Rock. How I like approaching from this side is I will run to the first rock here. I'll use that as cover and use that as my first hard point to scope in and see if Sturman's around. And once I get here, I am first, I like checking Dickhead if we have any players sniping. Sometimes you'll see people rushing there trying to snipe Sturman as well. And I'm gonna slow peek here and I want to check Gray Warehouse and just check this general area if Sturman or his guards are around. I have seen Sturman sitting here once and assuming you don't see anyone, I'm gonna approach this next rock over and then I'm gonna do a quick head peek. Just do quick peeks to check if Sturman is at Duffel Rock. The thing with Sturman, he's so unpredictable now. He kind of ends up everywhere, especially if other players are aggroing him into places. He will run everywhere pretty much. But when you do these head peeks over this rock, be careful. Always hear out for audio of aggroed scavs. It might be Sturman or his guards. When they spot you, they have a tendency to push every now and then. So assuming you still don't spot them from here, sometimes I will take this angle as well. Check again from here just so I get a clearer, closer angle. If I still don't see them, I'm going to run all the way to this rock. You want to do the same thing again? Just keep going from cover to cover and keep checking your angles because you'll never know when Sturman or his guards start moving across the sawmill. And if you still don't see them from this angle, I like to painkill right here. I'm going to run to that pile of lumber right there. As you do this, by the way, as you're checking for Sturman here, always be careful with your back angle here because this is where players will start creeping up on you. I have killed a lot of players trying to creep up on me as I'm trying to scope in Sturman. So once we paint killed here, I'm going to run to that uh, pile of logs right there. But be careful as you approach this. I have seen one of Sturman's guards sitting somewhere here. So as I ran here, he just mowed me down. So just be a little careful. Maybe you can check from this angle up here and see if his guards are there. Get a quick, quick look. If not, you can just approach the log. And this is where we officially enter Sawmill. I'm gonna just run straight in YOLO and use this white shack as cover. So we're gonna hug this. This is where things can get a little spicy. Sometimes you will see Sturman or his guards here. Sometimes you'll see them in this area. I've seen Sturman sit here for a bit. I've seen Sturman sit behind those spools. And so as you make the run from this pile of logs down to the white shack, here out again for any aggro on scav voice lines, that might be them. If it is them, just react accordingly. If they're on this side, use this as cover. If they're on this side, use this as cover. The common spots I check when I'm in this angle is some... I've seen Sturman sit here. Sometimes as well, he will be behind this spool. And I have seen him literally sitting in this bush. And I'll wait if I see any movement in the bush. You know, AI usually pivot, so I'll wait for that kind of movement. If you don't get any aggro or you don't spot them from this angle, I'm gonna run down here. And our goal is to make it to that pile of log right there in front of us. And then same idea goes with this. You wanna wait for any sign of Sturman as you're making a cross to this pile of logs. So once I'm here, I'm going to run peek this and look right because I have seen him multiple times sitting right here. I've also seen him multiple times sitting halfway down the hill here, somewhere here in this area. And I've seen him sitting here multiple times as well. So I may do a couple of run peeks like this, see if I get any aggro. And once you aggro him, just slowly check your angle, slowly check if he's here. Remember, always use this use this slow lean. Slow lean is holding Alt A and D. What's nice about this slow lean against any AI in the game is you can pretty much get a pixel peek on them while they still can't spot you. So let's say Sturman was sitting right here. I could line up a headshot and he can't see me. So take advantage of using the slow lean. The next step is we are gonna clear this warehouse. How I like doing this, I'm gonna run here and just do a quick peek like this. See, again, the point is to get an aggro on Sturmy. If I don't get an aggro on him, I'm gonna move in here. 
And again, use all the logs, use the walls as cover. I have found Sturman sitting here, right here. So be careful. You want to check all your angles. Make sure you always move with cover when you're hunting any AI in this game. And if you see nothing, what I like doing next is I will head up here on this little hill. And I'm going to head peek it. But quick head peeks, the same idea. We're trying to get an aggro, trying to get any voice line. And if you do get a voice line, I've actually killed Sturman, I think twice or thrice here, where I get an aggro and I hear them W key me. So I I literally just sit here which is pretty yolo i will admit uh, what you can probably do is get behind cover like here maybe and use this as cover lay down fire as they're running down and if you still don't spot them or get any aggro as your head peeking up here i will run up and again use this as cover just check your angles I, you could use this as well to check this side and then if i still see nothing i'm gonna make it in here again still checking every angle i've seen sturman sit there as well at this truck I've seen Sturman sit here in that angle. Just check everywhere. BSG has done a really good job making Sturman super dynamic. He can also be inside Grey Warehouse, so careful with that. He can be along the wall. You can also throw a grenade from here, throw it straight into that doorway right there, see if you get any AI aggro. You could also peek these trucks. I've seen his guards or Sturman sit behind that. Check all types of cover that AI can possibly sit behind. A quick tip as well, you can bring M67s with you, which are grenades that have a five second diffuse time which is a long time, and you can throw them really far as well. They're a great tool to use against Thurman to spot him hiding behind. Let's say if he's indoors here, you can throw a grenade in there. And if you get an aggro, he's in there. Or same with the triple cabin area. You can actually lob a grenade from here all the way to triple cabin. Lob an M67 from here, it'll make it. And you will get an aggro. You'll get them to move out of cover or even just hear the aggro. If you're in this area, this is also a good time to check Duffel Rock right here. Make sure that you are clear of not only AI, but players sniping. So assuming your Duffel Rock is clear, I will make it into this next cover. Peek right here because I have seen Sturman or his guards sitting in this area as well. More specifically... I've seen them sit literally tight here in this exact corner. So what I like doing is I'm going to run here and uh, use this as cover. Just double check no one's in here. Double check Sturman or his guards aren't sitting on the wall of the warehouse. And if you're sure you're clear, again, check this angle. Also, I forgot to mention Sturman can also be uphill here. So you get the idea, just scan everything. Top, bottom, every single cover that you see and then from here i am going to check this angle like i said earlier uh be careful though with a left hand peek on ai it's the worst you'll probably get hit if you commit to a left hand peek and try to kill ai so what i like doing is just a fast peek see if they're there get an aggro and then maybe if i want to commit to a left hand peek i'll pre-aim and then bam right but of course right hand peek is the play for ai and if you still got nothing from here what i like doing is uh i might take a, another pre pain and then i will run to i'll run across here to this truck as cover sometimes i have had moments where i run across here and i aggro Sturmy or his boys this way of finding Sturman heavily relies on baiting him so we run over here to this spool use this as cover again our goal right now is to clear triple cabin make sure he's not hiding inside the cabin or just in a cheeky corner so what i like doing from here is i don't have a grenade on me right now but i will underhand throw over this hill and it will land in the triple cabin area that will force an aggro on Sturmy. If I get an aggro, I might go back into the spool here and use this as cover because Sturman and his boys will probably run across. But let's say I don't have grenades or I don't get an aggro, I will push. But be careful, I've died to Sturman sitting here. So still be on guard as you peek this. But if nothing's there, you jump over this. Uh, you want to make sure you, you peek this a bit. Make sure he's not sitting anywhere here. And then just straightforward clear the cabins. You want to check the windows. This door is always default closed. This is also a great time to farm, assuming you don't get Sturman. Loot the weapon case, the full bag. These tables have a chance of spawning moonshine. I've, I've found so much moonshine in all three cabins. Moonshine may spawn here. Loot the grenade box, loot the safe, jacket, more, moon, more possible moonshine here. And then more jackets more moonshine and at this point if i still don't see sturman i have considered this a no sturman raid and i will just pain kill get out through this area because there's a little more cover but be careful uh sturman can be in this area if you decide to approach sama from the west side this is the west side this checkpoint is right behind me for reference right here i like using this little rock formation on this little hill this is where i like doing my initial first check just check the horizon, check the usual spots, check behind cover. Remember, this is the angle I mentioned earlier where I sometimes see them sitting. 
you'll see some of them sitting here sometimes as well again just a general hover of the horizon be careful though this is close enough for them to shoot you so if you hear any aggro dip under again fall back dip under but assuming you see nothing what i like doing from here is i am not gonna peek anything else i'm just gonna run through the forest again be careful with players on your right side just general pmcs in this forest area very common area to find pvp so i'm gonna make my way all the way to the shore side again make sure as you're making it to the shore you're kind of a little further from sawmill so you don't get that long range aggro from the ai so from here you can use these trees a bit just to again get some additional checks on the horizon where they are i have seen the guards sometimes walking in this area but if you don't see anything use the downhill as cover and we are gonna make it to the pile of log earlier pile of logs by this red warehouse where we were earlier so we're gonna make it up all the way here see it see this this is where we were earlier like last time again make it here do some sprint peaks see if you get any aggro again check the usual angles up there or down here or midway through that hill but instead of going forward like what we did last time i will go downhill again i'm gonna use those little these little whatever carts or something whatever you call it the cabs this says cover do some general checks as a corner to peek but again like i said when you left hand peek you don't want to commit to it just like do a quick peek just to get see if you get any aggro try to bait them if you don't get them here i will make it into the white shack again like last time and use this exact corner again as cover and if i still don't get any signs of them i'll move up to this porta potty again check your horizon if i still get nothing i'm gonna make it to the to this pile of wood here if still nothing i am gonna make it all the way to this spool do the usual checks and then like last time throw a grenade over if you get nothing clear triple cabin like i showed you in the previous run as you see i kind of tweaked the west side a little bit but you could pretty much just replicate what i did in the previous run i'm just showing you guys an alternative run in case the first one just didn't feel right for you with this style of approach i just showed you you want to move as quickly as you can to avoid getting caught out by players be on alert for other pmcs while hunting down sturman and once you found sturman just make sure you use cover and take advantage of the slow peak as i mentioned earlier get that head tap and move on if you hear them w keying straight for you just hold your ground get your crosshair placement ready and mag dump as they turn the corner if you want to see all of my 25 sturman kills click on this video right here